This, my friends, is a smart ring and it can essentially replace your bulky smartwatch while keeping track on all your most important health and fitness metrics. In this review, we will test this ring more thoroughly than anything we have ever tested before on this channel and results might surprise you. In this video, we will talk about how to order the correct ring size for you. We will also discuss my over two month experience with this smart ring, including battery life, the app, and of course, I will give you my overall verdict on this next gen variable. Let's dive in. The first smartwatch was introduced back in 1998, but it wasn't until 2015 when Apple introduced the Apple Watch that it became a best-selling smartwatch. Apple changed their positioning from being a very expensive fashion icon to an affordable fitness tracker, which ultimately led to its success. Now with the smart rings, we are entering into a new era of smart wearables. These wearables do not distract you with notifications, their battery can last for days, and actually it doesn't even look like a piece of tech, instead just a perfectly normal ring at the first glance. But then you look closer and you see this engineering marvel. How did they manage to pack all this tech inside of it? yet it still mostly looks like a regular plain ring. Just to be fully transparent with you guys, Ultrahuman did reach out to me with an offer to provide this ring for a review, but it's a fully independent review. The Ultrahuman team did not review this video upon its release, nor did they tell me what to talk about. Everything in this video is my own opinion. When I first heard about Smart Ring, I've honestly imagined something bulky, heavy and something that would give away the fact that it's actually a piece of tech and not a traditional ring. I honestly imagine something heavy and, well, ugly. Something that would get in my way a lot during my daily routines. Something that would look awkward on my finger. And since I wasn't wearing a ring apart to the Ultra Human Ring Air, I straight up thought the idea of smart ring is stupid. You might remember that this was often a case with some early iterations of smartwatches. It certainly wasn't a case with Ultra Human Ring. Now, with this smart ring from Ultra Human, I was amazed upon the first unboxing of the product. For $350, you will get a ring charger and the brighted USB Type-C cable. Everything is packed very neatly and the presentation was fantastic. Wearing this smart ring is exactly what you would expect when wearing a normal ring. Of course, if you normally don't wear any, like I do, then it takes a few days to get used to, and then you will completely forget that it's on your finger. It barely gets in your way, but there are occasional situations when it reminds you that it's still there. For example, when lifting weights, metal on metal isn't an ideal situation, which is how I managed to scratch mine a bit. However, I don't mind, as I do want to wear it while working working out to be able to check my workout metrics later that day. On the other hand, the scenario in which I absolutely prefer the ring over smartwatch is for sleep tracking. Instead of having something bulky on your wrist, you simply wear a ring. I mean, if you are married, you probably always wear the ring and you know that during a sleep it's not an abstraction at all. And I personally love seeing my sleep data because I can make active changes to improve my sleep quality based on it. I have to say the Ultra Human app does provide a very detailed overview of your sleep, but more on that later. Now, the Ultra Human Ring Air is waterproof up to 100 meters, so you can simply forget about it and shower, swim or even dive while wearing it without any worries. Now, in terms of specs, this little fella is a pretty impressive. According to Ultra Human, it is made of fighter jet grade titanium. Inner shell, which comes into contact with your skin, is made of hyperallergic material. Therefore, if you have any allergy to metal or 
other materials, you should be fine. I already said that it feels very light and that's because it only weighs 2.4 grams, which is roughly 11 times lighter than typical smartwatch. But of course, weight varies based on the size of your choice, but even the largest ring is only 3.6 grams. And as far as the thinness goes, it starts at 2.4 millimeters and ends at 2.8 millimeters, which to me, considering everything it packs inside, is insane. It does of course have PPG sensor to measure your heart rate together with red, green and infrared LEDs. There is a non-contact medical grade skin temperature sensor which can for example determine your skin temperature during sleep and combined with other metrics determine your sleep quality. Six axis motion sensor monitors your movement again, for example, during your sleep, and it knows if you shuffle a lot while you sleep. And in case you were wondering, firmware updates automatically via the UltraHuman app. As far as the battery goes, we have a tiny 24 million power battery, which actually lasts around six days of use. The app actually recommends you like with some Tesla models, only charging it up to 80% to preserve battery capacity over a long period of time. This results in four to five days of battery life based on my experience, which is completely acceptable, especially because it only takes two to three hours to fully charge from zero to 100, so roughly 1.8 hours to charge to 80%. Now specs are of course only one side of the coin. How about daily use and what is it actually like to live with a smart ring? Well, here is what I found out after using this ring daily for almost two months now. It takes roughly two weeks for the ring to calibrate to a person's body, as each body is different. And when I said I wore it for almost two months, I mean it. My full-time job is not YouTube, but an office job. I wore the ring almost non-stop, taking it for bike rides, runs both indoor and outdoor, hiking and of course to the gym. I do love the experience and I also love the fact that you are not consistently bombarded by notifications. There are notifications from the Ultra Human app but they are all very meaningful. For example, they notify you when is the best time to take stimulants or when is the best time to get natural light exposure in the morning. These notifications are non intrusive and even then you can always turn them off completely and only check the app when you want to. There is no screen to distract you from whatever activity you are currently engaged in. Let me put it this way. If you go for a run or a hike and you leave your phone and smartwatch in the car, it's just you and nature. Yet all your data are being recorded and will later be synced with your phone. Now here's something cool that happened to me like two or three weeks ago. I took a nap during the day and this freaking ring detected that to exact minute. That's something I have never seen on the Apple Watch before. And best of all, the ring and its app as well as features keep evolving and the Ultra Human team keeps adding new features and constantly polishing and fixing the overall experience. Even just during my two months of owning this ring, they've added features like breathwork mode, improved app UI and overall navigation by miles and even introduced new raw titanium finish. The app, of course, is the only way to view your metrics, recommendations, trends, graphs, and overall data since the Ring is a smart device with no screen. Therefore, it is very important that it always works and it has all your data available to you at will and easy to read and understand manner. Luckily, I'm happy to report that the Ultra Human app is rather a good one. The movement index gives you a visual representation of how active you are during a day, taking into account not just one activity, such as workout where you burn 300 calories, but also how much you walk, exercise, how many hours a day you are actually active and your workout frequency. I love this. I mean, if you sit behind a TV or computer all day, then go and work out for two hours and then do 
nothing again, it's not the same for your body as if you are simply active through the whole day. At the bottom of the movement index, you can see the total calories, which include active and resting calories and the total steps for the day. The index is nicely visualized in this graph where you can track your progress and always look back how much improvement you've made over the time. Recovery score is practically summarized your current state of body based on various metrics such as resting heart rate, skin temperature, movement index and sleep index. It is a good indicator which can help you discover areas that you might need to improve to feel more rested and just overall better well-being. Now to sleep tracking. I take sleep and its quality very seriously. I'm one of those people who if they don't get around 8 hours of a good quality sleep simply don't perform well both mentally and physically. Sleep index is my favorite part of this whole smart ring experience. I've been tracking my sleep via Apple Watch ever since they've introduced it as a baked in feature and even long before that using third party apps, but nothing offered this level of detail. Sleep index is essentially a holistic view on your sleep quality, including basic stuff like time spent in the bed versus time asleep but also your average heart rate and overall efficiency of your sleep. Within overall efficiency, you can see stuff like temperature, restfulness, a chart drop, timing and even restoration time. Now, based on this, the app reminds me when is it the best time to taper off the stimulants to get the good night's sleep as it learns what time you usually wind down and go to bed. Related to this, I always want to make sure that if I have to use screen before the bedtime, device is always set to low blue light, but ideally you should completely avoid screens before your bedtime. Next, if possible of course, I spend my pre-bedtime in rooms with dimmed and warm lights. Now this is not something that app tells you to do, this is just what I do since the app already gives me so many good and helpful insights that going that extra mile is always good in order to get a good night's sleep. New feature added at the beginning of April, the breathwork mode. Now this one is fantastic, it's like mindfulness app from Apple but on steroids. Essentially it's like having a Wim Hof in your pocket. Let me explain. At the moment there are 17 different guided breathing exercises available for various needs such as increasing energy levels, improving concentration and providing a quick energy boost. Exercises are all well designed within this beautiful user interface complete with haptic feedback guidance. This means you can simply close your eyes and hear the correct rhythm to follow. This is a great bunch of exercises since you can do them practically anywhere and anytime. It's like having another complete app underneath the Ultrahuman app. There's also a workout extension which is dedicated to, well, workouts only, but that's currently available as beta. I haven't personally used it properly yet as I like to see my metrics live while I'm running or working out, but I might make a dedicated video on this sometime in the future. And before you ask, yes, there are widgets, and even these have been designed to be meaningful and have a purpose. If you decided to have one permanently occupied part of your precious home screen real estate, this is just a top-down overview of what Ultrahuman app offers and how deeply you can actually go. I'm considering making a separate video just talking about the app because I believe the developers have really outdone themselves with this one. Ordering process is also super cool in my opinion. First, Ultrahuman will send you a neat little package containing 10 plastic rings of 10 different sizes, ranging from size 5 to size 14. These rings serve as mockups for you to try out and they recommend that you wear each one for a day to determine which size fits you best. After that, all you need to do is choose your preferred color and finish. Ultrahuman has recently added raw titanium as I mentioned already, which I have to say looks pretty neat. However, the one I chose is space silver. Other options include bionic gold, matte gray and aster black. Also, I have to say the Ultrahuman team was always there to answer any question I threw at them, so thumbs up from me, excellent customer service. On top of this, you can 
also trade in your current smart ring. I haven't tried that option, so I can comment on it. However, many people might like getting custom engraving done for their ring, which Ultraheimen also offers for $40. So what could be done better and improved upon? I would absolutely love to see something like find my ring on Ultraheimen. In fact, on one occasion, I took my ring off and I couldn't find it for two whole days. I know it would probably require stuffing yet another chip in the ring, but I imagine I'm not the first nor the last who has misplaced their smart ring. I strongly believe that this is the next step in evolution of variables, where they seamlessly blend in with our daily outfits and do not restrict us in any way during our daily routines. But on the other hand, they can offer us a deep dive into any important data and metrics we might be interested in. These variables are less distracting and can offer us less screen time, yet all the data is there when we need it. I think Ultraheimen really outed themselves with this one, and I cannot wait to see what's next. We also know that Samsung is working on its smart ring, and there have been rumors that Apple might also be working on one. Once again, thank you Ultrahuman for providing the ring air for this video, and also thank you to the folks over at Ultrahuman who were always happy to answer any question I had about the ring. Well, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Click here if you wanna watch the next one. Bye! Thank you.